on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Bears and the Texans on Sunday night. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to the Space City, Houston, Texas, and NRG Stadium. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. It's week two of this NFL season. A couple of teams feeling good, Greg. Victory in the season opener, and that gives you just great momentum off the schneid to start the season. Now, what's ahead for these guys? Going into week one was always kind of an interesting deal, Mike, and I always felt as a player, you prepare months for week one, and then you prepare seven days for week two. It's kind of a very interesting thing, and here you have both teams. Here's Carlos Santos ready to get this one started. And off we go here on Sunday Night Football. Here comes a return from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year from last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. A lot of things jump off the tape when you watch last week, Mike, but it was really just the overall execution of the game plan that stuck out the most. I mean, not only to get them in the end zone a handful of times, he protected the ball, and he routinely exploited the weaknesses that they found during the week on film. He's going to be looking to do the same thing over these next four quarters. If he's successful, he will have a shot to leave here with another win. A big play right out of the gate on the first play. 41 yards. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. In motion now, it's Collins. They run with the longtime Bengal, Joe Mixon. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. From the gun, here's Stroud. That's to the big ticket acquisition, Stephon Diggs. With that, I want to give you a look here at the receiving numbers for him from the game a week ago. Here's a toss, right side to Mixon. Not much happening there, just a short game. Here's second and nine. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Ah, the pressure too much, and he goes down. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. They try to work the screen with Nixon. So, a good chunk of yardage there, but still well short of the first down. Fourth down, and on comes Jaime Fairbairn for the Houston field goal. Officially, it's a 36-yard attempt. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Texans are out to an early 3-0 lead. Three points on that opening drive. We'll see the response as the kick's away. Now an opening has the 30. And they'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Bears come out with their quarterback, Caleb Williams. All of Chicago hoping this is the man who can finally answer that long search for a franchise quarterback for the Bears. He won the Heisman. He's the number one overall pick in this past year's draft. You think back to last week and what was really a pretty bland game. He didn't do a ton that was overly exciting, but his team was still able to come out with a win. I think that's really a testament to this roster that they have built. Yes, you're going to need your quarterback to play good ball as the season progresses. But in the meantime, they are good enough around him that as he continues to find his way, this is still a tough team to match up with. Williams on the RPO, going to get it out to Odunze. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Off play action. Here's Williams. That's deep for the back of the end zone. And this 
will be incomplete. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Now here's a keeper on his own reach. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. Third and long. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth-round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. No return fourth cover. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20 yard line. The Texans' offense ready now for their second drive. On first down, they'll start with Mixon and will mark them down up beyond the 30. Line of scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. They'll go right back to Mixon. And he'll be brought down at the 32 after a short pickup. Here's a second and nine. Stroud to throw. Back to the outside. He's got digs. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. On first and 10, here's Stroud. He'll go right back to Diggs. He's got it again. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Stroud going to tuck this one on the zone read. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. I think this is something we're going to continue to see today, Mike, as this game goes along. They're going to make the defense make a decision. Do you want to account for the running back, or do you want to account for the quarterback? In this case, they choose the running back, and the quarterback makes them pay by picking up the first down. And a good job following his blockers, a gain of seven. It'll be second down. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. Open space inside the 10. The speed on display. He's in. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Texans. It's his third touchdown on the year. When you start talking about the qualities of a top tier back in the NFL, Mike, we all talk about size, speed, the ability to keep your feet, the ability to have balance at contact. But the part we don't talk enough about is patience, understanding the blocking scheme, the timing, when to hit the hole as much as what hole to hit. And I think you get a great example of what that looks like when it all comes together. He takes advantage of the scheme and Next thing you know, he hits his head on the goalpost. So the lead is now 10-0 as this kicks away. Valus Jones now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bears offense about ready to get going on their second possession. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. From the shotgun. It's Williams. Toward the middle, that's caught by Moore. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath pitch routes, quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. On first down, they give it right back to Swift. And they will finally track him down inside the 40-yard line. 
And for the second straight offseason, it's kind of hard to believe Mike Swift kind of finds himself in a new place every year. This time it's with Chicago. Just a year ago, over 1,000 yards rushing, and he's going to be looking to build off that last year's success. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Now Swift. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. You get a look there at his numbers on the ground from a week ago. They face second down and seven. I'll give up the middle with Swift. A good run there for a gain of six, but it's still going to be third and long. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. Inside the 10, it is caught. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. They'll run with Swift. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Bears. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are on the board. It's 10-7. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This will be returned from the six. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. Room to run at the 40. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Big start to this drive with a gain of 26. So they come to the line for first down and 10. A zone read here, and he's going to keep this himself. Uh, the ball comes out. You know, it's amazing, Mike, that guys still end up fumbling the ball because I can tell you from experience, the first 15 minutes of every offensive practice is ball security circuit. And that could be a combination of multiple things. Had to go to the ground without getting loose to the ball, almost like the art of falling. It could be running over bags or through bags as guys take swats at the ball trying to knock it out. There are so many ways to simulate what the game is like because at the end of the day, if you want to win in the NFL, Protecting the ball is the number one priority, and it cannot be stressed enough. So we are through one on Sunday Night Football. It's the Texans who have the early lead. And more from Houston coming up in a moment. They'll go again with Swift. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll go play action here with Williams. This pass caught right side. It's Allen. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10-yard line. Now it is first and goal. Here's a run. A dive, and he's in! DeAndre Swift. Touchdown, Chicago. His second TD of the game, and this one gives his team the lead. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are on top. It's 14-10. to The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He'll start at the four. And he's down at the 23, and that's where the offense will take over. 
The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. A run here with Mixon. Finding room at the 35. Great way to start the drive. A gain of 20 and a first down. Here's a zone read. He'll keep it himself. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Here's a third down and four. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. Strap gonna set up to throw. He'll try to run for it. Give him 11 on the scramble. And give them a new set of downs. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the ground, it's Mixon. And he'll work his way down inside the 40. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 39-yard line. Second down, here's a run, and here's Mixon. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yardage. To throw is Stroud. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Texans are back within a point. It's 14-13. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. DeAndre Swift and the Bears offense set for their next possession. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him. And your offensive line is that big opening after big opening and big numbers in this first half. And he'll take this to about the 28. Tackle there by Will Anderson. Williams to throw on second down. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They'll try to run for it. It's Swift. And he's going to have a Bears first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert on third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Second and seven. Here's a designed run. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You could see the quarterback once he got the snap. He was looking for any scene, any daylight. But nothing materialized. And he's fortunate he got back to the line of scrimmage. And he's not going to get away. They track him down. Here's Tory Taylor now. As he's on to punt for the second time. Uh, but he cannot get away. Great job down there to hold him to a short return. Texans offense. And they're running back. Set to go once more. And he's been a tough man to stop in this first half. Putting up some big numbers already. And remember, we haven't even reached halftime yet. They'll go play action with Stroud. To the left side, into the hands of Collins. And he's taken down, but not until he gets to the 32-yard line. 
Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. All right. All right. On second down, Stroud. That's to the left side and taken in by Dick. Pick up a 14 on that one. It's good for a Texans first down. They will work the middle with Mixon. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Throwing is Stroud. Now a deep ball here for Collins. Wow, out of bounds, inside the 10, it's first and goal. It is a big time play for Houston. An even 40 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. In motion now, it's Collins. They'll run here with Mixon. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. They need six for the touchdown. Second and goal. Here's Stroud. Taking off. And he's into the end zone. C.J. Stroud, touchdown, Houston. Now Fairbairn for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Texans will open up a six-point lead. And so after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. A safe kick taken at the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Bears offense and DeAndre Swift set to get going again. First and 10. Here's Williams now to throw. Here's a screen taken in by Swift. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Williams going to look to throw it on first down. He'll get this underneath to Swift. The Bears will use one of their timeouts here. And they'll get together prior to this second down play. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Now he takes off. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago. Talk things over before third down. Each team has some big moments. Ready to get and it would seem it. this could As turn out to be a game underway, where the last score Sports. wins. Jones now on the return. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Bears offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. We'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Throwing on second down. Williams. And they'll work this Close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. They don't need much. It is third and inches. They will run it over center with Swift. And he's going to be close to that first down. Looks like he made it past the yellow line. Yes, 
He did. It is indeed a first down. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Throwing is Williams. They'll go underneath to Komet on the screen. Close brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. To throw is Williams. And he's able to gain yardage out of this one before he slides. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. He'll push ahead to the 21. Jaquan Brisker there to bring him down. They'll go right back to Mixon. Whoa! Fighting off defenders here. He'll churn forward and pick up three. Gotta get it to the 30. Here comes third down. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Stroud avoids the contact as he slides to a stop after picking up the first down. They'll send a tight end in motion. They'll run on first down with Mixon. Running room hard to come by as he'll get ahead for a yard. Andrew Billings from the interior there to bring him down. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And he'll only manage to pick up three yards. And that leads to third down. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll try and get there on the ground. Ten yards on the scramble there. And he picks up the first down. In motion now, it's Collins. On the give, this is Mixon. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. The give to Mixon from out of the pistol. And he's going to be bottled up quickly after a gain of about one. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. He's going to tuck it and go. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and ten. On the handoff, it's Mixon. He'll dodge one would-be tackler. and wind up getting a nice gain of six on the play. A second down throw for Stroud. He's going to keep it himself. Here's first and ten. A run here with Mixon. And he'll get forward for about a yard. Tremaine Edmonds there to make the play. Out of the gun, here's a give to Mixon. And the defense there to meet him. They'll hold him to two and bring up third down. Stroud going to set up the throw. He'll try to run. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. And the defense has it. The quarterback was on the move, starting to gain some yards, but then he lost the ball. 
And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. They might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee, or any other body part except the hand, down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Texans will extend their third quarter lead. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Another run here. Another run by Swift. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. On third down, it's William. He's got his man. Allen with the connection. Throwing on first down, it's William. He'll swing this out to Swift. And he's going to lose yardage here. That's the way they'll switch ends as this third quarter has come. Last play went the wrong way. It sets up second and long. It's second down and 12. To throw, it's Williams. That's over the middle, but it's incomplete. Third and long. Try to throw again. Here's Williams. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. And it has been a rough night at the office. We go through the highlights. They are really lowlights. Relentless pressure. Receivers unable to get open. They cannot connect in the passing game. It has been a night to forget for the quarterback. Stroud to throw here on first down. Now he'll tuck it and run. He runs with it. Taking advantage of the room to run. A gain of 19 on the scramble. First and 10 at the 41 yard line. On first and 10. Here's Strap. That's complete to Diggs. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Second and five at the 46 yard line. Here's Mixon. Inside the 20. A big run. They finally get to him and bring him down. Now a chance to pay off that big play. They have it first and goal. This one caught at the four. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. They look to run with Mixon. This would go a long way to sealing this one. Third and a yard. They'll try and run with Mixon. And this time he will work his way into the end zone. Joe Mixon. Touchdown, Houston. That's his second touchdown of the game. He's doubled his season output. He now has four. And another score in another good performance after winning the opener on their way to 2-0.
Mike, you can't be 2-0 without being 1-0. And for them to be able to continue to string early wins together in the first part of the year, this is the start that every team dreams about. This is what you work for all offseason long to start your season and build some early momentum. Gives you a lot of flexibility and wiggle room as the rest of this season plays on. They'll come up here first and ten. Working out of the gun, here's Williams. Throw right side, caught by Odunze. They'll come up now for second down and four. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Taking off. They'll pick up 23 on that one. First down, Chicago. Williams. Pass is caught. It's Tyler Scott. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line. On first down, it's Swift. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. They'll go again with Swift. And good hard running will get him down. Close to a first down. Might be a yard short. Third and short yard. And here's William. Taking off. And he will get into the end zone. Caleb Williams. Touchdown, Bears. And hold on to that football, young man. That's a keeper. His first NFL touchdown. And he'll go down back at the four. And he's not going to get in. The decision to go for two doesn't pay off. Unable to cut any further into the deficit. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. The Texans take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Putting one of their tight ends in motion left. They'll begin on the ground, and here's Mixon. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. They'll go right back to Mixon. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. Yeah! And he is going to have a Texans first down. His defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain on third and two. On the give, this is Mixon. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. They'll go play action with Stroud. He's trying to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not and be taken down there. Off the play fake. Here's Stroud. And he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a sack and a loss of a couple. A loss of two yards. It's fourth down. The Bears take over first down. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. This one taken in by Odunze. And it'll mark him down up beyond the 30. He's going to run it. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. 
That'll be taken in by Moore. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Here's Williams now to throw. He keeps it himself. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. The Bears will use one of their timeouts here. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. He knows when to stay in there and look to pass, but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up good yardage there. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Throwing on second down, Williams. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. The offense not coming off the field. And here's fourth down. There's nothing worse than having to settle for a field goal when you're in the red zone. So they roll the dice here, they leave the offense on the field, and boy, does it pay off. Great job by the quarterback extending this drive with his legs, and he sets up first and goal. That is left side and taken in by Allen. Ball at the three, second down, and goal. From the shotgun, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one. Setting up third and goal. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. That's a second charge timeout to Chicago. Block will stop with 35 seconds to go. They'll go. It's Swift. And this is going to be a touchdown. It's too little too late. We do get a bit closer as they score here in the final minute of play. Santos, good on the extra point. And the Bears are able to cut the deficit to 10. This one not quite over, but down a couple of scores. We're going to get an onside kick. Well, we knew, Mike, this was going to take a miracle. All they needed to do was recover this, score, recover another one, score again. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen, and this game's all but over. This offense and their running back heading back on the field. And he has put in a full game's work and then some. Just an incredible performance on the ground to this point in the fourth quarter. Stroud down to a knee. And that should put the finishing touches on this one. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. a win here for the Texans they get the job done here at home and they follow the opening weekend victory with another here to move to 2-0 on the season so that'll do it for us for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes I'm Mike Tirico you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports follow us on X at EA Madden NFL 
It's a win for the Texans, as we say, so long from Houston.